Hey guys, welcome back to Clan Brandalorian. My name is Brandon. As always, if you're into anything in the Star Wars universe, whether that's lore, theories, Funko, and Lego, go ahead and consider subscribing. You can always change your mind later. But before I talk about Abeloth and what her impact can be in Ahsoka Season 2, let me tell you about some limited edition merch that I have. I will put the link down in the description. Everything that you see there, all the proceeds go directly to Clan Brandalorian, the channel. So thank you guys early in advance. But with that out the way, let's go ahead and talk about Abeloth. So obviously we have the Mortis gods. We do have the father who is the embodiment of balance. We do have the son who is the embodiment of the dark side and the daughter who is the embodiment of the light side. So this was a cool little arc in the Clone Wars. You know, we got to see the son taking over, Rampage, Ahsoka Tano basically dying, Anakin transferring the daughter's essence into Ahsoka to keep her alive. In the midst of all of this, there is a mother and she was just a human. She was mortal, normal. Basically, her job was to keep the son and the daughter kind of civil. As an attempt to become immortal, she then goes to the pool of knowledge. And this was to make her immortal, but this changed for the worst. She was kind of locked into this forever battle between the son and the daughter, giving her the nickname bringer of chaos. In Legends, she actually has like pawns, avatars of herself that she can kind of take over. So she can basically portray herself in any shape or form. And Luke has some allies that end up taking out the pawns, but then Luke is finally able to confront Darth Krayt and Abeloth at the same time. Ultimately, taking out Krayt and Abeloth, we think the story's done. So after this, Luke then sends a group of Jedi to go ahead and find the Dagger of Mortis, hoping to end all of this for good. No more Abeloth, no more of that. For me, you know, I'm not really too into Legends, but I think this story is really cool, and I think that this can transfer into live action canon very well. So obviously, we know Balin Skull's character is something is calling to him from another galaxy, which is another crazy thing. Yes, this is where Thrawn was. Morgan Elizabeth, Shin Hati, and Balin Skull end up getting Thrawn off this planet, but it's also in another galaxy, and it's really weird how Balin ends up kind of just ditching the side of Morgan Elizabeth, getting Thrawn, and really wants to ultimately succumb this goal. So what better than Balin being called to by Abeloth? You know, it could be used of like kind of a seduction way, maybe just feeding into the force. This could be something really cool, especially with Dave Filoni's range. I think that he could really bring this character to live action and actually make her a threat. And this is just another reason to get Luke Skywalker back into the Mandoverse kind of storyline. This can bring in Din Djarin, Skeleton Crew members, Book of Boba Fett, all of them going up against Thrawn and the Night Sisters and whatever in the catacombs. We may presume zombies, undead stormtroopers, something. Behind the scenes, we could have Abeloth, who is basically the big bad of this season, or going down into the movie. So I just think this is something really cool, especially if you didn't know too much about Abeloth. I think it's a great character. I think this is something that could really work. What do you guys think? I know, you know, Legends, the canon, it's kind of tricky. It's tough to handle, but at the same time, I think this will work out perfect. It's pretty scary if you really think about it, like this bringer of chaos who can shapeshift, can kind of turn into anything she wants, portray herself in any way, and especially with seeing the Mortis God, the Father, pointing off into the distance, Balin Skull, reaching out to that light, it all makes sense if we were to bring in the Mother, Abeloth. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Do you think Abeloth is going to be a good thing into the Ahsoka storyline or into the Mandoverse movie? Let me know down below. As always, thank you guys for watching. Clan Brandalorian, I'm out.